in today's video, we got an absolute banger for y'all, man. We have the top five class setups to run here on Rebirth Island, aka Resurgence. And the meta has changed tremendously with all the buffs and nerfs in Season 5. But before we get on to that, drop a big fat like for your boy. And also subscribe if you guys are new to this channel, man. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And let's get on to the top five class setups. All right, y'all. So coming in at the number five spot, we have the Car 98 and the Bow 27. As for the Car 98, it is still a one shot within 60 meters. So as for the optic, we have the Range Caller 3.4 optic. Best optic to run on the Car 98. And it obviously helps out with the long distance gunfights. Moving on to the laser, we have the SL Razor Hawk Laser Light, which helps out with the aim down sight speed as well as the sprint to fire speed. Moving on to the barrel, we have the Praxis and Zagura 762 long barrel. It helps out with the bullet velocity as well as the damage range. Best barrel to run on the Car 98. Moving on to the muzzle, we have the Sonic Suppressor L. Best muzzle to run on marksman rifles and sniper rifles. And it helps out with the bullet velocity as well as the damage range. And it also keeps you hidden from the radar whenever you are firing the Car 98. And finally, to make it a one shot sniper rifle, we have the 762 high grain rounds, the 792 high grain rounds, excuse me. And also the bullet velocity as well as the damage range. Now, moving on to our secondary, we have the BAL 27. It is finally usable here in the season five update. And this buff was needed on the BAL 27. As for the attachments, we have the quartermaster suppressor, one of the newest suppressors that they added to the game. And this is by far the best muzzle to run here on you know primaries on you know assault rifles sniper rifle uh not sniper rifles uh, you know smgs etc so it helps out with the gun control and the recoil control now moving on to the barrel we have the crown h3 barrel helps out with the bullet velocity aim walking speed aiming idle sway and the movement speed moving on to the optic we have the jack glassless optic and you know the iron sights aren't very good on this weapon so the jack glassless optic is a perfect substitute for that uh stock we have the ardent tag stock which helps out with the gun control firing aim stability and the recoil control and finally for magazine we have the 60 round mag the biggest mag on the bow 27. now as for our tactical and lethals and perk packages they all stay the same so for tactical we have the stems lethal we have the throwing knives to get our downs and finally, for perk package, we have Mountaineer, which, you know, it helps with the fall damage from higher heights. Uh, Sleight of Hand, which helps us reload faster. Tempered, two plates, and high alert. Uh, you know, vision poses when spotted by an enemy outside of our view. So literally, if people are looking from behind, you will get an alert on your screen. So moving on to the fourth best class setup here, we have the SVA 545 and the MCW conversion kit. Uh, as for the SVA attachments, we have the Quartermaster Suppressor. Like I said before, best muzzle to run on primaries. It helps out with the gun can control and the recoil control. Moving on to the barrel here, we have the SVT Precision Barrel, which helps out with the aiming idle sway, bullet velocity and damage range, as well as the gun can control and the recoil control. Optic, we have the Coriol Eagle Eye 2.5 times, which helps out with the medium to long distance gunfights. Stock, we have the main V6 stock, which helps out with the recoil control and the gun kick control. And finally, for magazine, we have the 60 round mag, which helps out with the uh, you know, biggest mag on the SVA. Now, moving on to the MCW conversion kit. First things first, we have the Jax Raven kit, which helps out with the you know, rate of fire, mobility and handling, damage at close range, and the hip fire and tax stand spread. Now, moving on to the magazine, we have the 40 round mag, the biggest mag on this conversion kit. Uh, under barrel, we have the DR6 hand stop, which helps out with aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and the movement speed. Muzzle, we have the quartermaster suppressor, which helps out with the gun kit control and the recoil control. And finally, for barrel, we have the second line mammoth heavy barrel, which helps out with the bullet velocity and damage range. Also helps out with the aim walking steadiness, aim walking speed, and the movement speed. Now, moving on to the third best class setup here, we have 
the Tag Eradicator and do see Perry 46 SMG. Now they did nerf this SMG, but it is still one of the best SMGs to run in the game currently. As for the Tag Eradicator, we have the Quartermaster Suppressor for our muzzle. Once again, helps out with the gun kick control, recoil control. Uh, Barrel, we have the Conquer 70 Long Barrel, which helps out with aiming out of its way, full of velocity, and the damage range. Stock, we have the Tac Vert Core Stock, which helps out with the Gunka Control, Firing Aim Stability, and the Recoil Control. Uh, rear Grip, we have the FSS Combat Grip, which helps out with the Gunka Control and Recoil Control, and it also helps out with the Firing Aim Stability. And finally, for Under Barrel, we have the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, which helps out with the Gunka Control, Aiming Auto Sway, Horizontal Recoil, and the Firing Aim Stability. Now, as for the Superi, we have the Quartermaster Suppressor as our muzzle. Uh, barrel, we have the Zulu Op Light Barrel, which helps out with the crouch movement speed and the aim walking movement speed. Uh, stock, we have the Rescue 9 Stock, which helps out with the attack sprint speed, movement speed, sprint speed, and the recoil control. So, movement buff for the stock. Uh, magazine, we have the 40 round mag, the biggest mag on the Zuperi. And finally, for on the barrel, we have the DR6 hand stop, which helps out with the aim downside speed, aim walking speed to fire speed and the movement speed now as for the second best class setup we have the mcw and the fjx horse they finally buffed the you know the long range version of the mcw and this pretty much feels like the kilo uh from the original war zone so as for the muzzle once again we have the quartermaster suppressor helps out with the gun kick control and the recoil control Barrel, we have the MCW Cyclone Long Barrel, which helps out the bullet velocity and damage range. Also helps out the aiming idle sway and the firing aim stability. Uh, optic, we have the Coriol Eagle Eye 2.5 times, which helps out the medium to long distance gun fights. Magazine, we have the 60 round drum mag, the biggest mag on the MCW. And finally, for under barrel, we have the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, which helps out the gun kick control, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil, and the firing aim stability. Now, as for the FJX Horix, they did nerf it, but it is still one of the top SMGs in the game currently. As for our muzzle, once again, the quartermaster suppressor, man. This thing dominates from up close. Uh, barrel, we have the sign long barrel, which helps out the bullet velocity and damage range. Also helps out with the aiming idle sway and the firing aim stability. Uh, optic, we have the Jack Glassless Optic. Uh, you know, it helps out with the medium to short range gunfights. And pretty much for visual recoil, this thing has no recoil whatsoever. 60 round drum mag on the FJX Horus. And finally, for ammo type, we have the 9mm high grain round, which helps out with the bullet velocity and the damage range. Now, as for the number one class setup to run right now in resurgence we have the stg 44 and the brand new smg the static hv now as for the stg attachments we have the quartermaster suppressor helps out with the gun kit control and the recoil control uh barrel we have the heinreicher c70 long barrel the best barrel to run on the stg currently it helps out with the bullet velocity and damage range as well as the aiming idle sway uh optic we have the jack glasses optic this thing has no recoil whatsoever man it is very very clutch uh moving on to the magazine we have the 50 round drum mag maxes out the ammo capacity on this weapon and it also has the biggest magazine that the stg 44 has to offer and finally for under barrel we have the paracord grip one of the newest under barrels to run on warzone and it helps out with the horizontal recoil, sprint fire speed, aiming auto sway, and the aim walking steadiness. As for our secondary, we have the static HV, like I said once before. And the muzzle, we have the quartermaster suppressor, which helps out with the gun can control and the recoil control. Barrel, we have the auger 840 light barrel, helps out with aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and the hip fire and tack stand spread. Optic, we have the jack glasses optic. Stock, we have the Spry 34 light stock. Helps out with the aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, and the aim down sight speed. And on the barrel, we have the DR6 hand stop, which helps out with the aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and the movement speed as well. So I have a 27 kill 
gameplay uh coming up with the best class setup to run on resurgence the scg and the static hv so hopefully you guys you guys uh stick around for that and with that being said man let's get on to the action let's get it 50 a eagle enemies are dropping into the area watch the skies Okay. Well, you know what? It is what it is. Hey, buddy. Towers. We located the rest of them. Oh, got your man. I'm gonna go on advance your V turn foot. Not my problem. People are so lucky right now. Bottom coach. Marking the rest of that squad on your tack map. Go get hunting. Marking the rest of them. Down the rest of them. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Our team is at this time. Adjusting prices. Enemies dropping into the AO. Kill confirmed and we locate the rest of them. Bro, I'm just team wiping everybody, bro. Honestly, I don't even mean to be pain weapon like this. UAV is being fueled. This is by accident. Remaining operators from that squad. 
Yo, the fact that I fumbled that is crazy, but I'm gonna let them rock. Bro, no, I sold. How many I had? Twenty seven, bruh.